Okay, everybody, welcome to Unscripted One on One from my still unnamed studios here in Columbus, Ohio. And um, new, new, uh, new friend today. Um, uh, let me go ahead. Let, let let's go ahead and introduce you. You introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you, your family, and then we'll go from there. Sounds good. My name's uh, Matt McCoy. If if you've seen any of my stuff, you've probably seen me on YouTube. I have a couple of YouTube channels where I teach um, kind of beginner guitar. Um, also try to do a little motivating. We'll talk more about that also in the future. I uh, live in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. Um, from West Virginia and Virginia. I was born in West Virginia, but grew up in Virginia. So now all my family's here in North Carolina, so that's really nice. Um, been married to my wife, 14 years. Got three little boys, um, six, four, and one now, so they keep us super busy. Uh, so I just try to stay active. You know how that is. Yeah. Um, get to yeah, and you are busy, and there's there's a lot we're probably going to cover here, and and you got you got a lot going on, so uh, we'll we'll cover a lot of that. Um, my introduction to you was, um, you know, I, many many years ago, just like most people, I think I picked up a guitar for like a hundred bucks, start, you know, trying to get three chords and the truth in my apartment uh, when I was single, you know, learning three chords, and then you know, kids came, family came, life came, and. Uh, so over the years, I've I've been off and on with my guitar experience. But a year ago, I, I actually had sold my, I had a real nice, nice talk meaning like mm-hmm. probably too nice for me. And I sold it to get an iPhone. And then, uh, you know, about a year ago, about Christmas time, I, I, you know, picked up another one. And I'm a big talk meaning guy. I even brought my little, there she is. Okay, nice. I like it. There she is. So <laughs> I, I brought it just for this. So you could, but no, I, I um, you know, so I picked it up and I started, wanting to learn a couple different songs. So I go to YouTube and I type it in. And next thing I know, I find country song teacher. Is that, is that's right. Right. Country song, country teacher. song teacher, correct. Country song teacher. And I, next thing I know I'm following videos, I'm learning stuff. And um, you just made it so easy to learn, you know, for especially country music fans. Um, but, but that's not all you do. And so, you know, that's why I wanted to have you on is because here, here we are, we're coming up against Christmas, people are going to buy a guitar, people are going to get out their old guitar. Uh, we're, you know, we've had a uh, pandemic where people are locked at home. And so they probably dusting off a guitar, um, or maybe they get one after Christmas. So I want to get you on because I man, your your stuff is really, really good. So just tell us, let's start with your story. And then we'll get into what all the stuff that you do, like what, where, where did all this start? Well, I appreciate it. It's kind of funny. I was just talking to my mother about this. Um, so I grew up a uh, big time into athletics. So football, basketball, track, did lots of powerlifting, that kind of thing. So all I knew was sports 24-7 in my life. My mother was a gospel singer. She used to actually travel around, have some CDs. So I had music going on in my house 24-7. My sophomore year of high school, I had a back injury. I had to wear a back brace for six months, couldn't play football. I mean, I was upset at God, just devastated. That was my idea, and all I was known for is sports. In that time that I had that injury, I took six guitar lessons. That, so it, if it wasn't that injury, I, I probably would have never, for whatever reason, I was just bored at the house, so I took six guitar lessons. Then my back healed up, went back into sports, kind of forgot about the guitar. And then once college came around, started picking it up more and more. And then one thing led to another. Uh, And as far as the first lesson, I was doing a job for my house in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I was working from home. And I remember just going week after week and literally not saying a word to anyone. It was just, uh, my wife would come on the afternoons. I would wake up in the morning and just be by myself all the time. And I was thinking, I was like, man, I'm having no impact on anybody's life. I remember just thinking that, like, I was there typing my computer all day. Like, I'm having no impact. So I got to do something. So I remember I looked over in the corner and saw my guitar sitting there. I was like, well, I know a few things on guitar. So I said, maybe I'll do a couple lessons. Um, so I started a YouTube channel. And it, this was even, I think it was 20, 2012, 2013. So YouTube was, was you know, as popular as it is now, obviously. So it turned out to be a blessing because it's kind of in on the ground floor, so to speak. Um, but I taught just a few basic chords. I started a channel called Acoustic Selection, and I taught kind of praise and worship lessons, very, very beginner stuff that someone knows nothing about guitar. Um, and I kind of forgot about it, and then I noticed when I logged back in, a bunch of comments. Hey, man, you made that easy. And one thing led to another, and it just kind of 
got a snowball. Uh, snowball. Doing... Snowball to 107. Now, this is a different channel now, but Snowball to 170,000 subscribers on YouTube. Is that right? That's correct. Yes, yeah, so that's a big snowball. <laughs> well, it, 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 again, it's amazing how God works. So I tell people, um, I have three state championships in football, but my team never lost. We had an amazing team. I, I, tell, I always say, I don't even know where those three state championship football rings are, but come full circle, I play the guitar every day, and it's, I had an impact and influence, and I'm able to teach people. And then almost now, it's almost my full-time job. It's right. part of my income source, my... So it's just been a crazy blessing that I couldn't have planned it all, but it kind of just, just snuck up on me, so to speak. Yeah, and you have, um, you've made a massive impact on YouTube. And I, I think it was funny, my son and I were talking the other day, and they send out those plaques, right? And I think they're for different tiers, and I'm not versed enough yeah, in yeah. YouTube yet to uh, to know what those are. But you got, I know in one of the videos I saw, you got them hanging on the wall, man. You've, you've achieved uh, YouTube pretty some pretty high status within youtube is that right they're, they're, they're called silver awards when you hit um a uh, hundred thousand and that's why i was kidding i had two of them like i said like conor mcgregor with the two belts so i, <laughs> I had two of the plaques from my acoustic selection and country song teacher channel um and, and what's funny is i tell people i said i'm really not being humble i think it's amazing the amount of followers i have for the knowledge i have with guitar but in a lot of ways, I think by me not being so advanced, it helped me be a better teacher for beginners. 100%. Because I, I can't sit there and do all the lead fancy stuff. I know basic chords and can kind of hear a song on the radio, know the chords, that kind of thing, and teach it. So that kind of shortcoming, whatever you would call it, in some ways is a blessing to help me, me kind of identify in my following more. Right. No, I, I would agree. That's uh, th thus the reason that I found you in the first place is, you know, I'm not that advanced. I've, I've played with it, you know, off and on. I've learned three chords in the truth. You know, I can play a few yeah. chords. Still can't play a bar chord to save my life. Um, same. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever be able to play a bar chord. They just irritate me. And anybody not a guitar fan probably knows, no, has no idea what we're talking about. Anybody that has tried to play guitar it definitely knows what we're talking about. So yeah. I'm that guy that like skips that note, you know, uh, and, and when I'm pulling up tablature on, on the web and pulling up songs, I'm like, All right, I'm skipping that. I don't even know how to play that one. So I'll just right. act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, no, your, your stuff's really great. I agree. I think the the realness, the rawness, the, the, the kid walking in every now and then, you know, of just sitting right. in your living room, uh, having your son walk in or, you know, son walk in or hear, hear noise in the background. I think it's so real, man. It's, it's, it's all of us. Cause that's just all of us. So I, I love that. I appreciate the, the, the realness of it. I really do. It, what, what, it started to like, again, snowball, so to speak for me, when I realized if people know me, usually they can be around me for a few minutes. I'm pretty easy going. And just, and I said, I'm going to come across that way. That's how I am. Um, just in real life. So, so as far as the polished, perfectly staged, that's just not me. So I said, I kind of want to reflect, just, just kind of be more authentic. If I miss a note, laugh at myself. If I can't play, I've been middle song like you have. Here, I'm the teacher. I can play that. <laughs> it's just, so people almost feel like they're learning along with me because, again, I truly, a lot of things are challenging for me. I get requests every day, hundreds of them. I say, sorry, man, I can't play that either. I'm working on it. I'll let you know if I can do it. Yeah. So yeah. it's funny how you can get a following in a lot of ways, just being real and kind of going along side to side with people instead of just, here's me, here's you, trying to get right. You know? Yeah, man, I feel like I'm sitting around with a friend, you know, um, learning how to play the guitar together, you know, and you're just a little bit further along than I am. And I think that's so real. And that's why I really, I really wanted to have you on because of the season. So many people get a guitar and especially a lot of people are sitting around with nothing to do right now, man, go, if you got a guitar, get it out, dust it off, tune it up, pull up this channel and yeah. learn some songs, right? I mean, learn some stuff. Cause you know, you, you'll be surprised at, at, well, you know what, before you know it, I'm, I'm playing Luke Combs stuff and my daughters love me some Luke Combs, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Hey, Hey, I learned beautiful, crazy, you know, or something, uh, okay. you know, and, and they love it. And, and again, it doesn't sound great and I can't sing for anything, but, you know, it's it's fun. And it's in this time uh, that we're in in this world, we need some of that in our lives. We need distractions. We need fun. So um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of your channel and, and really recommend it to anybody watching this. No, I, I appreciate it. And 
you know, I have one, again, one blessing that through all this crazy time of 2020, all my stuff has just increased. Yeah. Because like you said, more people are home. Yep. More people are looking for like an outlet. And you, I, I was telling somebody at the gym the other day, sometimes I even have to, I do a video almost every day. I have to remind myself, hey, Matt, don't forget to teach the song. <laughs> because I'll, I'll get talking and cutting up and, and I'm like a motivator and a teacher and encourager by nature. So sometimes I'll get going and I'm like, I'll be four minutes of video. I'm like, time out. I haven't taught the song yet. Let me get, let me talk, let me teach you real fast. So I can get both right. of y'all back up again. So <laughs> it, it's just, I, I always want people, like you said, to feel like they're in my living room or it's just fun. It, it's just yeah. two friends playing together. Let's just enjoy this. Like you said, you have long day at work, you long weekend, stressful, whatever. Just unwind a little bit and just jam the guitar, you know? Yeah. And, and, and I've seen you do lessons pretty much all over your house. I've seen you do one in your truck at least, right? I think oh, yeah. <laughs> on the job site or wherever it was that you, so, so let's, and I literally have seen that. I know you, you know, so yeah. I, so let's talk about, you have a full-time job. This isn't your job. Your full-time job is something completely different, right? That's correct. My family, my father's been in the coal industry for 40 some years. Um, so, and then my brother, my, I have an older brother, three years older than me. He's a West Point graduate. Um, I can brag on him enough. Um, he and all my parents. But um, so in my office where I'm at now, it's myself, my father, and my brother. So we have a few companies we have. They they do more of the coal mining. We have some real estate projects. And then I have a construction company. We actually take roofing shingles and grind them up and sell them to asphalt companies. So a lot of times, again, I keep that Taylor GS Mini in the back of my truck and I'll have my little iPhone tripod. If I'm sitting there watching the guys grind, I got some minutes. I'll go in there, pop out a lesson, even in the back. That's awesome. <laughs> That's my so shining. I've seen it before, man. Like sitting in the back seat of the truck, just just banging out a video real quick. I love it. I mean, it, you know, like I say, I, I've watched a lot of them, and and uh, it just cracked me up. I'm like, man, this guy's sitting in his truck. That's dedication right there. He's got a he's got a full time job, and yet he can find time to make videos for you know hacks like me. I said I knew I made it to one day when I was literally doing that. And so the, these big tractor trailers come in and the construction crew will haul, scoop up. It's called RAS, recycled asphalt. And they scoop it up, put it in the truck or whatever. So the guy is driving by and he slams on his brake and he comes in my window. He's like, dude, you're the guy from the YouTube whatever. And he wanted pictures and stuff. He was sending back to his wife and kid. He's like, you were just on my TV last night. So that's a, I said, that was funny. He saw me back there teaching. He's like, man, I was just watching one of your videos. This is crazy. That's when you know you've arrived, right? That's yeah, when you exactly. know you've arrived. That's awesome. That is so, that is so awesome. So um, now guitars, and, then, and then again, so anybody listening, please go check it out. If you got a guitar, dust off a guitar, get a guitar, whatever. You feel like getting a guitar, go buy your $99 guitar. They have bulk deals. Although I heard Guitar Center is going to go out of business. I know they're Chapter Thirteen, but oh, anyway, really? you can find them online. Go, go, go to Amazon. Buy one of those guitar packs. It's got your hundred dollar guitar with like a bazillion accessories. Get it. Go to this channel and just start plucking away, man. You'll have a good time before you know it. You're going to come back when you need to unwind. You need to um, just get away for a few minutes. You need to just challenge yourself to something new. Guitar teacher is, and that's. So what, and I'll get all the links for sure, yeah, but, okay. but, but the main one, the big one is guitar, what is, what is country, it? country song teacher, country song teacher, right. Country song teacher. And, um, you'll see the videos pretty much every song you can imagine, not just country too. You got some praise and worship in there. You got some old school country, which guys yeah, like yeah. myself, I like to see some old diamond Rio or Alan Jackson or. Colin yeah. Ray, you name it, man. I, I love digging in the old stuff too, but right so that's not all though, right? You've got more going on. What are some of the other things that you're working on? Cause I know you got some fitness stuff. You got some sponsors. What all you got going on? Yeah. So it, I, I have, I've always had a passion for fitness and just same like we say with guitar. There's something about just a hard workout, man. You just, you walk away feeling better every time. So, so even if I try not to talk about fitness, that's, I mean, every single morning, I start the hour, hour and a half in the gym. I've done that since I was 13. I did my first um, powerlifting competition at age 14. 
So I've known kind of fitness my whole life, been a personal trainer after college for a number of years. So that's always going to bleed into it because that's just who I am, what I enjoy talking about. Um, but man, I'm just, um, I'm a guy that's so excited about life, whether I've been getting into stocks lately and, and love business, motivational speakers, self-helps, um, journaling. I'm all into all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a blessing that I have the guitar and the following from that. But as I, I've noticed, especially as I've gotten older, I always want to make it more than guitar. I, I'm such a helper, and and I learned as the Bible verses, he refreshes others, is refreshed himself. I found like when I try, the more I try to encourage and help out others, in return, it just always lifts me up. So when people ask me all the time, man, how are you so happy all the time? I'm like, it's funny, sometimes I'm not, but it, it I think, you know what, I need to go pick somebody else up and try to be an encouragement. And then I found as I'm doing that, you know, myself just starts to get lifted and you start right. getting encouraged and you just, and it just feeds off each other. Yeah. So man, I, I'm in the, I'm into so much. Somebody will ask me about one thing. I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Now I'm doing this. And now I'm doing this. So, <laughs> yeah. I always do the, the four chords on the guitar. That's, that's a staple. <laughs> hey, and that's pretty much every Luke Combs song as I've learned from my online guitar teacher. <laughs> every Luke Combs song <laughs> hey, seems to be four notes. When he, when he comes on TV, I tell my wife, uh, Karen, her name's Karen. I'm like, Karen, you've got to appreciate him. I'm like, that man's gonna send our kids to college for whatever reason. Like he doesn't even earn so much, he gets so many views. I always say we gotta one day meet him and tell, shake his hand and tell him thank you. <laughs> That's right. I'm telling you, right? Right. I had this <laughs> bass player on recently, and uh, what a story that guy's got to tell. From um, and he he actually walks through. You'll appreciate as a person of faith. He walks through uh, the, the the Route 91 shooting in Vegas. Um, not to promote my own podcast, but, but that's honestly, I, I told my wife this morning, it's the most powerful, uh, podcast I've ever done that, that oh, story, man. his story is one of the guys that was literally just right off stage when it happened and his reflecting on that was incredible. So speaking of Luke Holmes, just, um, you, now you're talking about the, the, the Jason Aldean. Yes. Is, okay. Yeah. So, and you can, you can, you can look it up. I mean, he tells the story, but they, he, the short of it was he was basically, they were just told they were going to be the headliner for Al Dean moving forward in this new right. tour that was coming up. And so he was just checking out Al Dean's concert because Al Dean was on the stage when all that happened. And uh, anyway, he talks about how um, his faith, it's really, really powerful, man. It's, it's pretty, yeah, pretty incredible yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. And again, I'm not promoting my own podcast. It just, you mentioned incredible guy, man, incredible story. But um, so let's talk about faith. Cause you, you are very open in your faith. You talk a lot about it. I know you do a lot of like a, a Sunday reflection or you'll do uh, you know, praise and worship songs or old, old hymns. Um, I love yeah. that stuff, man. That, that stuff is what, what that was the foundation for so many of us growing up. Um, you spend time on that, but then you also really talk about your faith openly on a lot of your channels. So, you know, where's that at? Where, where did that start? Yeah, the, the, my parents have been, I always say I'm so scared one day when I go for the judgment because I, my parents are just amazing people, man. Like they just, in this my whole life, I mean, so committed to church and, and doing the work of the Lord. And uh, they have a mission thing they started in 2013 that they plant churches in Nicaragua. And they also have an orphanage, over 100 orphans in Bolivia. And so I've been you know, in that environment my whole life and seen God do so many things with my life and those of my family, that kind of thing. And I always said, I want to, if I want to get a following as a, as a Bible verse that says, let your light so shine before men, they may see your good works and glorify God. Like I said, I always want to get that following and that, that's all fun. But at the end of the day, I want to you know, point them to Christ and my, and my faith is everything. It's, it's, um, it, it's a reason what I do, whether, whether it's praise and worship, whether it's country, whether it's motivating people. It's just been such a staple in my life. And, and especially, like you say, during these times, so many people dealing with anxiety and the, the emails and comments stuff I get. People have like real struggles these days. Right. Yep. You know, job loss and financial problems, and relationship problems, all this stuff. And I'm like, if I can be a little bit of encouragement and speak a little truth and, and help them out. That just lights my fire, man. That's, that's what I do. Yeah. And it is encouraging. I mean, it's always fun to watch. You just have, you have a, um, 
an energy about you for lack of a better term you just an energy you know what i mean like you watch one of your videos whether it's on instagram or or uh, on youtube and there's just an energy there's a vibe there's a joy that that um that we don't see in a lot of people right now you know you see a lot of negativity so when you watch one of those videos it's like man this guy's got something and and i want it you know whatever that might be so it really is a witness but as you said it has has something to do with the guitar because that was the vehicle to get there. Right. But but at the end of the day, the, that's not that's not the driver. It's just the vehicle that got him to you and to your message. Whether it's teaching me how to play beautiful crazy, or teaching me how to play, um, you know, a, an old school, uh, you know, him. Um, that, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty cool. It's very very cool. No, I appreciate that, man. Like I said, and, and it, it it definitely is intentional. And I, I don't want to like I said shove my face down everybody's throat or anything, but but it is, it's so much who I am, what I do. I almost, I mean, I really couldn't do what I do without mentioning that. Was, but because another, you know, see me quote this all the time. I heard somebody say, I want to be a channel of God's blessings and not a reservoir. So it, it's almost like now that I have this following, any good information I get, I'm always just quick to share. Because I, I want people to walk away, man, I'm a better person because I watched his video. Like I said, it could be, it can be, man, there's a cool stock tip. This is a cool business idea. Man, I just heard this speaker. I listened to your podcast or anything. Right. If I hear it, a TV show, I'm quick, man. I'm, just, I'm an open book anyway. I want to share it and try to be a blessing. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. And that's what I appreciate um, about everything that you've done. So, um, all right. A uh, couple, couple rapid fire questions for you. You ready? Let's do it. All right. How many, how many guitars do you own? Because <laughs> there's a lot, man. Every video has got a different guitar, dude. And so I told I told my wife, I'm like, every time I watch a video, the guy's got another guitar. So how many guitars are you on? Seven. And I, for example, I always tell this story too. I got this nice Martin guitar in here. And my brother decided he's going to learn to play. I knew he'd have attention for it. So I talked him into getting one. Then my mom said she's going to learn. I knew she wouldn't either. I talked her into getting one. So my little sneaky way of doing it, I get, get the people I know won't learn. After about a year, they fade. I take their guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was like you know, you should probably get it. And so, you probably have a. a oh, I'm a yeah. Takamini guy. I and it, it starts with none other than than Mr. Garth Brooks, right? I mean, that's what Garth yeah. played, Bon Jovi, the Bruce. I mean, you name it, the Boss. Er, er, you know, I'm a Takamini guy. So I could see that. So that's the lesson is if my son says, "Hey, I want to learn how to play guitar." Hey, you need to go buy this talk. I mean, is that, is oh, yeah, that how yeah. that works? How, how old are your kids? Um, how old your son? I have a sophomore in college, uh, a senior in high school, and a sophomore in high school. Oh, they're, yeah, oh, they can definitely be. I'm still a little young, but yeah, yours, yours got to be learned. <laughs> all right, so so that's the goal is all right. So I, I probably need to encourage them. Hey, you, you should you should pick up a guitar. If I want a guitar, a different brand, I need to encourage them. Yeah, we we need to get you oh, one of yeah. those, right? <laughs> is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. You know, and I said you don't want to talk about I'm the expert, so just get this one. Okay, let me take it. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play it anymore? I'll, I'll just uh, take it. Is that how uh, that works? Okay, now I now I see the scam. I not a scam. I see how it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm in with you. So you got seven guitars, is that right? It's, it's correct. Yes. Yeah. Seven guitars. What's your What's your brand of choice? Uh, Taylor. Taylor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And th but those are man. Those are those are premium. It's hard to get a, a hundred dollars. Yeah, this one Taylor. The story of this. I got a Taylor six fourteen CD. My mother said, "Man, if you really really stick with this, we'll buy you a nice guitar one day." After five or six years, she said, "Man, you're really into this." But I went. I remember I was coming from. Um, coming from Raleigh to Charlotte, going across Interstate 40, it came the absolute, one of the scariest I've ever been my whole life. It came the worst snowstorm known to man. Well, I didn't realize it. So I, it, everybody was telling me to get off the road, get off the road. I went up and got that guitar. Um, it shouldn't have been taking too long. My brother's working. Um, <laughs> so then I got that guitar, went back on the road, and it, everybody, all the alerts were stay off the road, stay off the road. I kept driving, and literally every car was just crashing in front of me. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to die with this guitar. So <laughs> I had this little company car, and, and I mean, I was so scared. Gas light was on. Finally, I made it to a hotel about 30 minutes before my house at the night, but me and my guitar, but so that one always has good memories. Of <laughs> you know, they, they become a part of us. I think, I think you know, every, every one of them's got a story. 
that, that oh, yeah. it's not just an instrument, right? I mean, I think anybody that plays guitar, that's why we probably named, did you name all seven? So that's the question, did you name all seven? No, I haven't named them. That's a good idea, I need to. But you, you can't to. sell one. If you, I did that my first one. If you, as soon as you get rid of it, you'll look back in a few years. Man, I should have got rid of that. What? <laughs> so don't get funny, rid of the guitars. <laughs> well, it's funny you made. It's funny you named. Uh, you mentioned Charlotte because that's that's her name. So that, that's okay. <laughs> and that, that's a whole story for another day. As you probably have seen, I'm a huge North Carolina fan, which we'll get into in a minute. Cause, okay. Because I know I know you live there. So, but uh, so yeah, yeah. So you've already mentioned it. So you're you're from Virginia. Right, West Correct. Virginia, Virginia, -ish. Right. and then you went to Virginia Tech. Correct. Correct. And yeah. now you're in Carolina. Correct. And how did all that? How did all that happen? So, born in West Virginia until I was uh, eight years old. My my father's going to have a job to coal coal mining in southwestern Virginia. So, the very southwestern we used to live in southwest Virginia, a shop in Tennessee. My dad worked in Kentucky, right there at that little triangle area. Um, so that's where I kind of grew up all through high schools, play sports and stuff there. Um, went and played football, actually played football with Michael Vick. That's a little known fact. You know, How about that? Virginia Tech. Um, just, just played for a year in the back injury and all that stuff. So I just did that a year. After, after Virginia Tech, I went to actually Birmingham, Alabama for a couple of years, then to Charlotte, North Carolina, then here. So I moved around quite a bit. And in all your time in North Carolina, you've never picked up being a North Carolina fan? Yeah, my my, my sister in law is a huge Duke fan. Um, so most of my they're big Duke. I'm more Carolina. I'm I'm more UNC. All right. Well that that was that was a good recovery because Or you cut me off, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your expression trying to change there. <laughs> Yeah, for a minute there, for a minute there, it was about to get real tense. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I actually, uh, I'm a huge Buzz Williams fan. And um, so when Buzz came to Virginia Tech, and I liked him back when he was at Marquette, when he came to Virginia Tech, um, and I even, I even like Seth, you know, when he was at Virginia Tech, I always felt bad for Virginia Tech. I feel bad for any team not named North Carolina or Duke in the ACC, in basketball yeah. at least, because you don't have, you know, you, you do your best, but any coach has just got to be like, man, I, what come what on you do, right? right come on but they're they like, the right? okay right i mean they do the best they can and, and they give they they beat them occasionally in florida states and miamis and virginia techs you know they always play real competitive mike bray up in north uh, notre dame he always puts together great teams you know um and they they but any team in the acc that's just got to be like you know but i'd love me some, yeah. i love me some buzz buzz williams just just yep. a man of faith and, yeah, uh, you know, inspiration, as you said, a leader, all those things. I, I'm a huge Buzz Williams kind of disciple. I watch everything that he talks about and does because he's he's really class. That's a class. Yeah, so I've heard the same thing that others say about him. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's all really good. So then you end up in Raleigh. And mm -hmm. uh, so now you're kind of in that NC State territory, right? Are you close to state or? Yeah, I live real. I'm probably 15 minutes from NC State. Yeah, so, you know, we got NC State, Duke, UNC, but. I'm still hokey. Uh, I pulled for basketball at UNC, uh, but yeah, still, still hokies for sure. Well, well, it's all good. It's all good. As long as you don't say that D word again, I'm, I'm good. Don't. don't <laughs> we'll mention. keep talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very cool, man. This is, uh, this has been awesome. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to. Uh, hopefully, people will get this, and I'm going to keep promoting this, not just now, but after Christmas, because I think a lot of people are going to hopefully wake up with a guitar under the tree, you know, I think that's where yeah, they get their first one. Right. And I think you, uh, you just have a great comfortable, um, you know, so I've, I've seen a ton of videos online cause they're, they're, thank God for YouTube that you can learn how to play anything. And when I first true. started learning, man, I was, I had a little song book and, uh, I don't even know if I had a DVD. I think I might have VHS at the time and I'm right. trying to figure this out. You make it so much easier. Like, Hey, do this, do this, do this, play this song before you know it. You're like, man, Hey, I can play whatever song it is, and it's really cool. Yeah. So, um, I really wanted to get you on for that number one, but two, number one, I, I appreciate how much you you share your faith. It, it online, you've taken that platform and you're using it for something very positive. No, I appreciate it, man. And it, it's funny you talk about those YouTube videos. I'm really aware too. I go back and watch some of my uh, first videos. You know, you you hopefully improve on things, and I would watch some of them back. I'm just like, man, where's the energy? It would just, it would be so just tense and okay play a g 
way that I'm thinking, man, I got to bring a little, a little more life to it. So hopefully I've got a little, little more energy for my first day. <laughs> a ton of energy, a ton of fun. And you just mentioned it. I just noticed my tree is crooked. So. I like it. <laughs> hey right i mean we we learn as we go my, my christmas tree is crooked it's not gonna fall i promise it's not gonna fall but it is crooked <laughs> so, but no that's the beauty of it and uh it's it's uh it's wonderful i i appreciate it because i get to meet guys like you and and to have you come on this podcast you got 170 000 subscribers i got like 30 so <laughs> it's, it's a it's good time. yeah anytime somebody comes on and just shares their time uh, takes a little bit of time to tell their story and uh, especially someone of faith and someone in, in a, you know, something that I, I love and that's, you know, guitars. And um, I don't know, it's, it, I'm, I'm really, really thankful. I appreciate it. I didn't know you play guitar to be honest with you. So, no, that's good stuff. You're, you, <laughs> yeah, you need to close out the podcast with a good tune or something. <laughs> no, man. No. <laughs> so let define play guitar because that's um, that's debatable. But no, it's you know I I I play around. I think on the guitar, which yeah, is yeah. you know it's a good escape um, whenever you get the chance. And uh, I, I've just always enjoyed just kind of escaping for just a little bit. And it's real nice to pull up a video that gives me three four chords for the latest song I heard driving home or whatever it was. And, uh, exactly. uh, you, you've got a great thing going on. Your energy is fantastic. Your audience, you know, I, I know appreciates all that. And it's not just that again, there's multiple things you're doing. So before we get off really quick, give me all the links. Cause I want to put them in the blog post and anybody driving down the road, what, where can we find you? Instagram? So all, all Insta of Instagram is just country song teacher. And the website is just country song teacher.com. Okay. Uh, I, I was debating what name to do, and I was working with my, uh, my wife and my sister-in-law. They do kind of the artwork and logos. I said, I just want to teach country songs. And my sister-in-law said, well, country song teacher. We were kind of laughed. I was like, okay, let's go with it. So hey. here we are. I said, straight to the point. People know what I'm doing. So right. Instagram and the website, and then you'll see, or just my name, uh, Matt McCoy, and you see. It, it, what's funny, too, it's amazing. Like, I think I have 2,000 and some videos which is just mind boggling. Wow. You don't realize that if you just, you're one or two a week and then the week after week and before you know it, you look back like how in the world did I have that many videos online? Yeah. It just, you know, slowly eat at it and then you look back like, whoa, how to do all that? <laughs> right. Well, man, I wish you and your family, your beautiful, you got a beautiful family from what I've seen, you know, online, uh, beautiful family. Uh, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and, uh, thanks for everything that you do. Thanks for coming on here again at my little bitty podcast, but, uh, uh I appreciate, oh, I appreciate you coming it, on and sharing your story. We'll, we'll do it again sometime for sure. I appreciate Absolutely. you having me. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'll try to learn like, um, some song. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> we'll have a, uh, I don't think we'll have a jam session on zoom anytime soon, but, but no, <laughs> man, I, I I'll keep watching. Uh, I love watching, you, your family, all, all that stuff kind of online. And, and thank God for that. It's really cool just to, to just be friends before we ever met. And uh, yeah. I'm thankful for your time, man. It's, this has been great today. Sounds good, man. If you're ever in Raleigh, give me a, give me a shout. We'll, we'll do coffee or something. Hey, that sounds great. We, uh, we haven't been there in a while. We used to cut through, um, we used to go to Outer Banks every year by way of Chapel Hill. And so yeah. it's yeah. about eight hours. Now the kids were a lot younger then. And we right. had to break up the drive instead of 13 or 12 hours, we would go eight and then three or four, however far it is over to yeah. OBX. And uh, we'd spend the night in Chapel Hill. So if we ever do it again, man, you'll be the first first guy I call. For sure. I hear you, man. All right. Sounds Merry good. Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas to your family. Sounds good. You too, buddy. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much. We'll talk. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye.